battle starts. Hey, what's going on YouTube? AA Ron here, back again in the Solo Destroyer, trying to talk people, uh, help people how to play here. Uh, just like I said, the Destroyer play I see is, we all know that cruisers are sometimes going to kite to the back of the battle ba back of the map, or battleships are going to sit in the back as well. Uh, but the Destroyer play at which I see is just quite obnoxious. Now we did spawn in the middle, but the B cap here is. It's it's very difficult to get. Uh, if I if I go in here, it's contested, and there's a bunch of potential radar cruisers, which are the Cleveland. We know for sure Stalingrad. Mino could be as well. We also have a carrier in the game, so we're gonna turn our our AA off, um, and hopefully let him sail past us. Stalingrad looks like he's pushing in. That's a dangerous threat. Gearing's over there. Okay, good. The, the, our carrier looks like he knows what he's doing. He dropped fighters. Carrier play is also something that uh, a lot of people just ha are very just unaware in. They, they think they need to go for the battleship at the back of the map, and it's not the case. Let's see if we can get a few cheeky shots on this Stalingrad. Nope. Torps? Looks like gearing Torps, probably. We went out here and, and uh, okay, Kaga looks like he's going to be doing. We went out here to, to get this, this flank and this cap, and it looks like our team is, okay. Destroyer's fighting on that flank for, for A. Fine, fair enough. I think he's, I think he's there. Turn our AA off in the meantime. That's a problem. We're not going to go in the cap just yet. We're going to go wide, actually. I don't like going near this island, but... Do we have a Mino support? Z23 and or a gearing. I think it was the gearing, wasn't it? It was the gearing. So we're going to try and catch this gearing. We threw Torps at his smoke. You never want to sit in your smoke screen, and hopefully he makes that mistake for us. We are located, so... I think it's actually the Z, if we're, just, if we're, if we're spotted. Oh, it's the gearing. Got him with the Torp. He's running full concealment build, which is... I mean... He can, but... Okay. Gearing taken down, and of course, with the last shot, he takes out my engine. I thought we were going to be able to block a lot of those from the island. But we did our job. We got the enemy legendary destroyer off the board. We supported our team. Our carrier did excellent. And, yeah. Your job in a destroyer is to get the caps. Uh, B is actually uncontested, um, which is... So you could, you could say, well, Aaron, you should have played your side. And uh, fair enough. Um, but... That cap is notorious for being uh, just one that uh, people have difficulty getting in. For example, if you get into it and you're stuck there the whole game, you just don't want to sit in that while the, the enemy destroyer is on each side of the island. You know, you guys are playing Ring Around the Rosy. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get this cap. Uh, this allows for our, our cruisers uh, to get a flank. Um, and, and that is, and honestly, that's what they should do in this situation. There's a, the enemy team is kind of clumping up in the middle on the right there. And if they get a flank, we get this cap. I'm going to go back this way. Uh, we will uh, we will be able to develop a crossfire to put them in. Our ships hold in the middle. And they hold on the right. Looks like our battleships... Not sure why we sent both battleships to the right, but that's okay. Looks like both of their battleships are over there as well. We need to be careful because... Uh, so it's a smoke mino, but... Oh, the cap's contested. Not gonna do that. So it's probably the Z and no, it can't be the Z. Is it the Stalingrad? Or is it the Cleveland? It's the Cleveland. I 
But in the meantime, we're going to definitely shoot a broadside mino. Your job in a Fletcher is a gunboat. And while the Fletcher is not the best gunboat at the tier anymore... Smoke generator started. Interesting play, Stalingrad. I'm gonna hit a superstructure. He's angling his armor belt with the AP here. Smoke screen set. Surprised I didn't get radar, but he's dead. <laughs> Maybe we, we we got caught a little bit. My uh, my um, my heart dropped a little bit when I saw him around the corner. Let's just get the penetrations. Yeah, let's just get the pens. We know he's a smoke mino. He's not a radar mino. We took out a gun. Good job, P bag. Good work. Little slight brown pants moment, but we're doing our job. <laughs> There's that Cleveland. I must. I wasn't paying attention. I thought the Cleveland was over there, but whatever. So it looks like our right has kind of fallen. They've, they've, you know, again, I'm not sure why they're that far back. Our destroyer should be a little bit farther forward. It looks like our carrier's doing a job, you know, a decent job of trying to be all over the place, you know what I mean, uh, and spot the different destroyers. He did an excellent job helping spot that gearing initially, uh, and then we got him in the corpse smoke. Knowing your role, knowing your role in your ship, for example, your battleships are meant to take damage. Cruisers are meant to dish out damage and hunt destroyers. Radar caps, you know, destroyers are meant to spot, cap, and, you know, Gunboats have a little bit different role than torpedo boats and things like that, but the, at the end of the day, you're supposed to get those caps to spot for your team, uh, you know, and that's what we did. Now we're working on getting a second cap while defending the other one. Good work. Odin does have Hydra, so we need to be careful of that. Go an engine boost in here. Engine boost activated. Actually, gonna go this way. See, uh, Shima's low, so it's understandable why he's running this way. But I, I don't. Wh wh why abandon the side you spawn on? You spawn on the right. Hold the right. Go, go, go. Spot that DD. You should have better concealment than it. Now it is a Z, so he could be scared of the hydro, which is understandable. But I just see so many destroyers immediately leaving their spawn, and that's not even... No, that's not what you do. <laughs> that is not how you play. Yeah, sure, it's a free-to-play game. Nobody's going to play perfect every time, but... Got to gotta be a little, a little bit smarter than that. So we're going to actually... Flood the, uh, the channel here. Is our AA off? It is off. Didn't mean to do that. We're gonna go ahead and shoot. It's gonna give him something to think about. His guns aren't looking this way. Hopefully he'll come out and maybe, uh, you know, shoot. That way we'll get a torpid. Looks like the Shima's gonna get torpid, which will probably kill him. Can't believe we're hitting high. That's actually usually shells land short. I'm doing this right now as an overview, the overview camera, because I want to see any of incoming shells and or, um, you know, anybody shooting at me, uh, you know, or what's going on around me. So many people are focused down the gun, especially in their Fletchers, you know, just do, 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 and there's a destroyer pop up right, you know, two feet in front of them to the right. Now, we knew, we did have RPF, which is the gray symbol at the top of the screen, which told us where the closest ship was. Uh, and now we have a Shimakaze avoiding the cap. Bro, what are you doing? My brother in Christ, what are you doing? 
Um, now, looks like the pee bag's gonna go get it. Shima's damaged, hungry, wants to go get the, the kill on the, the, the other ship. We're gonna avoid the cap for now and go get the kills on these guys. Um, and, and the D cap. The right play would to be to dodge back into B cap, but it looks like the P bag. Hopefully the P bag will get it. You know what? We'll, 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 we'll... Airsoft Alons. Is that, uh... I wonder if that's, uh, what's his name's friend? Alright, we'll go make the right play, because our team is trying to throw this. We're only up a few hundred points. We're gonna try and... Okay. Yeah, again, Shima, you did a good job of surviving, brother, but you needed to cap me. That's, that's your play. Let's turn on our AA, especially if we're going to be shooting. Go ahead and throw some torps in case he does a full turn. Smoke up here. And this is just cheeky damage at the end right now. A little trick you guys can use is once you're in your smoke, you can go one-fourth speed, and you'll still be in your smoke for most uh, you know, long deployment smoke streams. We could switch to AP here, but we just want to keep the doctor going. So Shima is going to be uh, going to damage hunt. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, secure this second solo cap and 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 in doing so, sh secure the victory. Point influx is how you win a game. Too many people are focused on kills, damage, etc. And while this is merely an average game for me, uh, I think the scoreboard will reflect um, the difference in playing for damage and playing for XP and the win. And he spent all that time, and the carrier's not even over there, so. Two kills, two solo caps, two defends. What more can you ask for? I don't think we're going to get to the C cap in time, nor are we going to be, um, you know, in range of, of the carrier. We'll mark it for our carrier, as uh, he, was, he seemed to be a decent player. Wasn't marking it for you. <laughs> Again, you want to support your team, but when they abandon the side, it's spawn on. It's just engine boost activated. Yeah, we're not even gonna get close. So what we'll do is just get another solo cap, rack up that XP there. <clears throat> Maybe get some more planes in the process. You, the reason you want to turn your AA off, and we'll, we'll do it here. So we'll turn our AA off. Ah, oh, they shot him down. Uh, but the reason you do that is so, for example, your detection, um, I wonder if it changes now, by air is three, so it doesn't say, but we'll show you in the after action results is when your AA goes off, the carrier can see that. So he knows you're shooting and your AA sometimes extends beyond your, your damage, uh, your, your detection range. And if a good carrier player is playing, he will know that you're, you know, he's like, oh, I, I don't spot, I'm not spotting a ship, but AA is going off, there's a destroyer. He will begin his drop into your turn or into your ship before you can even get there. So that's the reason I turn the AA off initially. As soon as you're spotted, you turn it back on, but just remember because this command wheel is pretty stupid, uh, Wargaming has not yet fixed, uh, you, you know, you, you won't change your turn. Our team is taking the lead. Yeah, we're, uh, can we get there? I'm gonna laugh if Shima gets it. I think he got it. Oh, the mines got it. GG mines. GG's boys. This game well played. Made we probably made a one or two mistakes in there. Thirty six ninety nine XP. Three. How many? Yeah. I don't need to explain it anymore. If you want to be better at this game, take a few of the things you learned here. Uh, and apply them to your gameplay. Stay on the side you spawn on, go for capture points, don't abandon the flank you spawn on. Now we spawned on B, and in certain maps, for example, Two Brothers, Shards even, you still want to, if you can, play your side, and in this game, we probably would have gotten B cap, 
But we went to, we, there was no destroyer on the left. There was a carrier in the middle, so it left that side low. If you go back and look, there was only two ships on that spot side. That's why we went to the left. We got A, we killed the destroyer, we applied the fundamentals of the game, and we were, were rewarded for it in terms of XP and the win. I don't care if this wasn't a Kraken. I don't care if I didn't get a high caliber or a Confederate. All of those medals will come as you understand the game. Destroyers are particularly hard to get those medals because you have to rely mostly on torpedo hits, you know, that and or permanent fires. But any good opposing player that sees a destroyer spotted out there gunning like that will ruin you. Uh, and I, we've been ruined many a times. Um, but GG's to our team. Like I said, the carrier played really well. And, you know, we mentioned XP between damage hunting and, you know, doing the right thing. And 3,700, almost 2,000 more. Um, so, yeah, like I said, GG's to our team. Well played on, on both fronts. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, about, about the AA thing. So, Fletcher's AA is, it goes out to 5 kilometers. 3.5 with the, the Bofors. So, you would be detected by the enemy aircraft um, only at 3 kilometers. But... If your AA is still on, it's going off at five kilometers. The the you know your your guns are dual purpose there, so he'll, he's going to know you're there. So if you turn that off, you can get up to three kilometers, and by that time he doesn't have enough time to maneuver his drops. So do that, and then turn your AA on so it's it's going off while he's going by, uh, and then you know when he gets out of range again, you can turn it off. That is you know super unicum next level destroyer play. Not going out to the flank and getting behind the enemy and etc. Whatever these so called, you know best destroyer players in the game want to tell you but uh, yeah that's the fletcher one of the best gunboats it's the akazuki is better the friesland is better but it's still the fletcher is one of my favorites um and yeah that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it another solo experience uh from you know a seasoned veteran uh, of the game i hope you guys have a great day aaron out peace